Hey everybody, it's Harley again from DIY Cast, and today I'm going to show you how to make the LM386 amplifier. I have a lot of requests for this uh, on my other channel, and I'm sure since I showed the can on my last video, uh, one of my last videos, I'm going to have some more comments on it. So, uh, e either way, I get on my other channel, I get about once a week somebody asking me how to make this thing. So, uh, today I'm going to show everybody how it's done. Uh, the things you're going to need is some extra bits of wire. Uh, I'm using a 9 volt. You can literally use any power supply uh, from about, uh, I'd say, 5 volts to 12 volts. They say like 6 to 12, but you can get away with 5 sometimes. Um, I like 9 volt just because it's small and it's pretty powerful. So <clears throat> you'll need bits of wire, some kind of power supply, battery clip, whatever you're going to use, um, a circuit board, this is just a uh, prototype board, um, LM386 chip of course, uh, just one, I've got a bunch but you just need one, a pin socket which you don't really need but it's a lot easier if you use it, um, a 10k potentiometer, uh, I believe this is 220, is it? Yes, 220 microfarad polarized capacitor. Uh, it calls for a 250, but they're not very common. 220 works just fine. Uh, a 10 ohm resistor. And a 0 0.01, uh, I think it's a um, picofarad. Let me look at the schematics again. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it's a 0.5 uh, microfarad, and I don't have 0.5, so I'm using, or it's a 0 0.05, so I'm using 0 0.1, and it works fine too. Uh, and of course, the speaker. And that's pretty much all you need. So the first step is going to be soldering the major parts to the board. Um, as you see, I did in this little outline here, this uh, round boxy thing here is the actual chip so that's the uh, the pin socket so when I just uh, when I'm done I just drop the chip in that way I can recycle my chips uh, I don't have to worry about burning the chip out when I'm soldering it in vice versa you know, all that stuff anyway uh, so the chips in and if you follow the schematics that uh, I already popped up on the screen by now and uh, that I have a link to down in the bottom info section there. You'll see how the schematic works. Pin 5 comes out and you gotta get your smaller capacitor on there. Right? And then, uh, so this is all these just outlines that I've made for you guys so you can see what you're doing. Um, this is the bigger capacitor and Gonna go in there, and your resistor, which is going to go right there. So as you see, this doesn't take up a lot of room. This circuit, uh, I've had it really small. I've had it small enough to fit in an Altoids container with a speaker and a battery before, so uh, it can be done. That is pretty much the minimal size of the circuit. And this is all the components you're going to have on the board. And from there, you're going to run all the wires out to your components. Things like your potentiometer, speaker, power supply, and of course your input. Now I left room at the top here for a gain circuit that I'm not going to show you today, but I'll show you some other day, I'm sure. Uh, and it's a very simple circuit to add on. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this step. I'm going to go solder all this stuff on, and uh, I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> I got everything soldered up and cleaned up nicely. As you can see from a top view, um, you have your socket, which will be your chip. Uh, pin 5 first goes into the smaller capacitor, which drops down one and then goes into the resistor. And... Uh, pin 5 goes to that small capacitor and 
from that small capacitor to the bigger capacitor which is going to go to your speaker um, you just look at the schematics you'll be able to see it um, this is where the the solid big bar there is where it's actually going across from the fifth pin through the small capacitor to the big capacitor and then a brake and then another soldered pin there which is the end of this capacitor which will go to the speaker in the end so uh, just read the schematics you see where everything hooks up on which pin number and this is what it's going to look like before you start wiring up everything else so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw wires onto this and wire in my uh, throw wires onto the speaker too and uh, wire everything in and then I'll be right back. Alright I got everything soldered together remember to check out the schematics and uh, how they work um, I don't show you the actual which pin goes to what in this video because that would be ridiculous look at the schematics learn how to read it it's not that hard <clears throat> um, one thing I forgot to tell you is some kind of input I'm using a phono jack here um, but you can use like an old pair of butchered headphones it doesn't matter just something to plug in your audio source uh, right now I'm using my one of my iPhones and uh, this is just playing music right out of my iPhone into this amp that I just built So yeah, um, things are going to affect the audio quality, like uh, your input device, you probably, turn this down, you don't want your input device to be cranked because uh, it will distort quicker. Uh, yeah, your audio device, uh, you don't want it cranked, otherwise the uh, speaker will distort uh, at a lower volume. So you want probably two or three down, two or three notches down from max on whatever you're playing from. Um, and then you can tune it with your volume control on the actual amplifier. Um, you can add a gain in the circuit too. You can throw a uh, capacitor on the speaker to um, take out the the low uh, frequencies that are going to cause it to buzz quicker or the high frequencies, one of the two, I can't remember. Anyway, um, and uh, there's little things you can do to make this better and better but uh, this is the basic amp, it doesn't take much to build it and um, that is how you do it. Check out the schematics, I've linked down in the information section there and um, the screenshot of the schematic that I've shown you at the beginning of the video. Um, make sure you read it and follow it. Alright, later.